Yeah, let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the fourth fourth month, I was gonna fourth say. Fourth Wednesday. Fourth Wednesday of the month. Uh is it? Fourth it Wednesday. Is. Anyway, first Just the app, way it falls. app show, dead quick. Google Plus. I needed to mention Google Plus because we've been using Google Plus and I'm really digging Google Plus. At first I was like, meh, Google Plus, another network to worry about. But as soon as we've added communities, loving the communities plugin. Yeah. Because it's um it's really directed to a group of people. They have to sort of be invited to it. There's the ability to set up different groups that you put different videos into it. And you haven't started the timer, but we don't use a timer on that anyway. Um, grab it, it's really cool. You get push notifications, all the different uh, updating with video and pictures. Love the smart updating of sending all your pictures automatically up there. It's just great. Go and check it out. Well, my first app yes. also happens to be Google Plus nice. because it's that awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is that um, awesome. I'm using it with Audiences Europe. You're using it with Seller 54. Yes. I really like the way that you you get a recognition of who the community is because as they join, mm. you have a build-up of who's following you and then you can also follow them personally. It's a much more personal way mm. of, of networking within a community. I think Twitter's getting too big and impersonal. Facebook, you don't know who's following who mm. or or who's actually in a room. I really like the Hangout feature that's embedded into it. Mm. With the communities, you can also run planned scheduled Hangouts, yeah, yeah. which is something that I'm really looking forward to having a play with. Yeah. And also the events, that when you actually schedule an event of a Hangout, it goes into their Google Calendar. Right. So there's, there's a real sense it's the integration of being nice. able to... Just be part of a community without having to constantly check because yeah. it just pops up as notifications. Especially if you're constantly updating your blog and website, this is an ideal place to, yeah. to, to do everything else. Anyway, we like it. We like it, it's good. Google Plus, yay. Uh, second app of the week, people per hour, peopleperhour.com. I started on this, I started a little uh, foray into it and I really need to update all my videos on it. It's a, well, like it says on it, online marketplace for freelance work and services in a rush. It's very much like Fiverr, apart from you can charge a lot more uh, for your services than just $5. It kind of starts off at an hourly, doesn't it, rather than just what you're yeah, doing for five hours. Yeah, it's a different system altogether. Yeah. I kind of feel that they've, you know, the guys, people for hour, I think they're from London, have mm. looked at Fiverr and gone, that's great, but nobody's going to work for that amount mm. of money. So there's a whole, mm. bringing in a revenue stream into yeah. a space or, or working for that extra well, bit of cash. Well, Eileen, really who I've been working with, both Kirsty and the web designer have both come through people per hour. Oh, nice, cool. So, yeah. My second app um, has a little bit of a travel theme. It's the East Midlands Airport app. I went over to Belfast this week and I just needed to be able to keep track of things. Um, so I looked for their app and it's, it was really good. It helped me get to the airport. It had all the timetables in nice. for buses. I was able to track my flights because it was a bit snowy. Yeah. And it, it did work. It did when they were delayed, it said they were delayed. So that was really reassuring. And I could add baggage through that and, and communicate through that as well. So I, the East Midlands Airport, it's created by a company called KMP Digitata. Uh, wow. Um, so, uh, yeah. I've heard of KMP before, I'm not sure where. They're Manchester-based. I've heard of KMP, I'm not sure why. But yeah, my final app this week, um, I'm called PC-3. <laughs> That's my new nickname, Smart MPG Tracker. I wanted to throw this in there because... It's interesting how um, car companies, especially um, smart, are releasing these little apps to sort of say, we can play with apps too. It's a really basic app for tracking your miles per gallon. But I, I kind of see the potential of something like this being a lot more automated uh, if you use something like uh, Waze. Um, if Waze could track you know, when you sort of the distance you'd done and worked out the fuel and all that stuff, got rid of all the heavy lifting because you have to type a lot of stuff into this. But I really like the idea that you can have an application for your car mm. and it's sort of feeding into an overall social object mm. idea that I had with the car for a long time. And I think they'll develop these, won't they? So. Sensors, they'll start building sensors into the cars. So. Well, my final app, um, I think it's pronounced Pikey. P double I double K I. Pikey. And uh, it's from the. Um, the digital trunk for Evernote so it's, mm. it integrates with Evernote which I always love and it's photographing your receipts it has a really nice um, scan feature so that you can look at your get your um, receipt it finds the outline of the receipt it's really quick and then it just you can tag it with a project and it just synchronises it to Dropbox in this case it does go to Evernote mm. but I've got it going straight to my um, folder for my accounts so when I actually go through and check my accounts, I just allocate it 
as an image nice. directly to the account. So no, I'm really liking that. Cool. That's it for this week. We'll catch up with you next week. Thanks for walking. 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 Thanks for walking. Thanks for walking. That's racist. Goodbye.